using the gap in my teeth to sharpen my pencil. What are you, a woodchuck? Give me that. <laughs> and what are you drawing, anyway? It's a dragon ripping the flesh off of a cow's carcass. Honey, why don't you sketch a flower in bloom or the sun rising at dawn, something pretty? Well, how about I draw you, Ma? Oh, that is so sweet, baby. Can you do that? Oh, sure. If I can draw a dragon, I can draw you. <laughs> How much trouble am I in? We need to talk. Come on, yell at me and get it over with. I'm way too scared to yell at you right now, Claire. I just can't believe you would sneak out this house at midnight. We were just going to a little party. Do you watch the news? Do you read the papers? No. Well, if you did, you'd know there are a bunch of psychos out there, Claire. I mean, what are you thinking? Sneaking out of the house with Tony as your protection. He couldn't even protect himself from three little Indians. Dad, I'm 16. I think it's time for you to start letting me use my own discretion. You know, your own discretion had you climbing down a ladder at midnight. Is that wise decision making, Claire? I wanted to go to a party and I knew you would say no. How do you know I would have said no? Would you have let me? Hell no. See, that's not no. <laughs> but why? Why would I say no, Claire? I don't know. You do know. Tell me why, Claire. It's an unsupervised party after midnight. There's boys there, alcohol, probably drugs, maybe sex, but I just wanted to listen to music. Well, you should have stayed home and listened to my Motown collection. <laughs> so what's my punishment? Your punishment, young lady, is you knowing that in your entire life, I've never been more disappointed in you than this moment right now. Dad? What? Couldn't you give me a little punishment instead? I can't take that kind of guilt. You're grounded for a week. Okay, make it two weeks. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Guess what? What? I just signed us up for the most remarkable experience. What? Okay, listen. Have you ever heard of Dr. Jack Mason? Yeah, he's the Jewish comedian. He talks like this. He says, Mister, I'm talking to you, you're talking to me. You're talking to you, you're talking to me. And everything ends with a boom. No, he's this relationship guru. He's always on Oprah. He's always on Oprah. He better get off. He might fall and break his neck. Baby, no. Listen, he's having a seminar. He's only here for one day. And the seminar is called Open Your Heart. Open Your Heart? I'd rather open a vein. Look. Just stop. $400? What? It's a bargain. <laughs> Boom. Baby, Boom. listen. What? Are we not happy? Yes. Hmm? yes. Did I not come home in the middle of the afternoon with champagne and strawberries? You sure did. You're not looking at it right, OK? This is like preventative maintenance. It's the equivalent of getting an oil change for your car before the engine breaks down. Oh, See? I don't get it. Michael, <laughs> come on. Do this for me. It's just for one night. Jay, I hate all this touchy-feely women up from Mars. And... See, it's not even about that. It's about communication. That's okay, it. OK, well, let me communicate with you okay. right now. <laughs> I don't want to do the seminar! Come on, baby, just do this for me for one night. Come on, please. This is important to me. It is important to it you? It really, really is. OK, I'll do it. You will? But, but what? I want a free loop job with my all change. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> That's what it is. You're so judgmental. Claire, do you hear the way the boy talks to you? What's wrong with you? You're a princess. And you should be treated like one. You only say my princess because you think you're a king. Yes, yes. Now it's getting through that thick skull of yours. Well, I'm sorry, your highness, but I'm growing up. Yeah, well, stop it. <laughs> Yo, Mr. Cow, that's beautiful. Hey, hey, no more Mr. Cow. No more. I want to hear Mr. Cow come out of your face again. I want you to call me Mike Love Did Did Did. Dad, are, are you OK? Yo, I'm straight up in here. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm a little hungry, though. Yo, Ease, could you talk to your shorty? Could you talk to her? Get some vittles right. going? Can I, can I get a sandwich or something? No doubt, yo, shorty, go ahead and make Mr. Mike love the, the, the sandwich over there. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, shorty. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. And don't make it like the last one. Use the Wonder Bread this time, man. Yeah. Psh, women, yo. Hmm. Yo, I love the way you be controlling your girl, son. That's beautiful. 
I want you to know this, okay? Your daddy is gonna try to protect you from anything that he feels isn't right. I get it, Mom. Okay. Mom? Yes, I dumped easy. <laughs> what happened, baby? Because he was a jerk, know what I mean? <laughs> I just didn't like being talked to like that. It didn't feel good. I'm a princess, and I should be treated like one. And you're absolutely right. And you know there's only one man on this earth who will always treat you like a princess. The king? <laughs> the king. <laughs> I don't want the super salad. I want the regular one. <laughs> the regular. <laughs> what a jerk. He loves when I do that. <laughs> Oh, boy. Finished. After four hours of typing, I finally finished my paper. <laughs> Great. Why didn't you go back to using the computer, though? Oh, I like this typewriter thing. It's so cool. It's so retro. And I think this paper is better than the one I lost last night. Well, great. Now all you have to do is show me how to print it out. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll go get your mother, and she'll show you how to print that. <laughs> Baby!